The Nox Perennial 5 is a strand fusion rifle added to Destiny 2. This one is a hard hitting, high impact fusion that works great for your strand build. Well, today I want to take a closer look at the weapon, stats, the perks, the goals to chase for PvE and PvP, plus also how to get the Nox Perennial 5 in Destiny 2. Okay, let's dive right into the important information how to get this weapon. So you can get this one from any legendary engram and also pinnacle engram too. This one is a world drop weapon. Plus Banshee 44 often sells world drop weapons. So do keep an eye on his inventory each week. Okay, next up, let's have a look at the weapon in a little bit more detail. So the Nox Perennial 5 is a legendary kinetic fusion rifle with a high impact frame, meaning it's slow firing and it deals strand damage. The weapon is more accurate when you're stationary, you're moving slowly and aiming down the sights. Looking at the stats, we've got impact of 95, 45 for range, 24 for stability, 18 for handling, 16 for reload speed, 6 for airborne effectiveness, we've got 65 for recoil, it's a 960 charge time, and also 5 in the magazine. Well, the origin trait for this one is called Wild Card, so final blows of the weapon have a chance to create experimental submunitions at the target's location. Well, next up, let's have a look at the God Roll Guide for this weapon. So for PvE, Arrowhead Break, Liquid Coils, Loose Change and Hatchling would be good. So Arrowhead Break greatly controls the recoil and increases the handling speed. Liquid Coils is where it increases the impact damage, but you've got a slower charge time. Loose Change is where applying an elemental debuff to a target increases the weapon's reload speed for a short duration. And pairing up with that nicely, you've got Hatchling. So precision final blows or rapidly defeating targets with a non-precision weapon spawns a threadling at the target's location. It's working. For PvP, on the other hand, hammer forge rifling, projection fuse, threat detector, and kickstart would be good. So with hammer forge rifling, that increases range. Projection fuse also increases range. You've got threat detector, that increases reload, stability, and handling when enemies are in close proximity. Then we've got kickstart, so you gain bonus damage and charge rate during a slide after sprinting for a short duration. Well, let me know in the comments what you think about the Nox Perennial 5. I think this one is a really good fusion rifle and fantastic for those strand builds. But that is it for this guide for how to get the Nox Perennial 5 in Destiny 2. As always, thank you so much for watching or for listening. Don't forget you can hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content. You can also hit that like button too. Well, thanks again, and I will see you very soon.